Hiya. Neurodivergent New Year, day two. Feeling uh, weirdly insecure today, so I'm wearing my badger hood for confidence and warmth as well. I won't lie, it's pretty chilly. I um, have kind of started and stopped this video quite a few times. I'm hoping this will be the one. Anyway, Neurodivergent New Year, day two goals, hopes, aspirations for the year. I want to learn to drive. My sort of goals for the future really do depend on it. And I'm very, very nervous about it. I've had a few lessons in the past and they weren't, you know, okay. I do know that realistically I'll be able to learn to drive, but I'm also very aware that it will definitely be stressful and overwhelming at times. I'm just really, really not looking forward to the process, but I would like to be able to learn to drive and you just, the only way to do it is to do it. Sadly, we don't actually live in a matrix style world where this learning can just be in your brain. So gonna have to learn to drive and it's gonna suck at times, but then hopefully one day I'll have my license and I'll be able to drive and I'll be able to do the things that I want to do in the future and I want to build my business and get some massage clients some work on possibly doing um, a course in leading meditation and stuff and possibly hopefully I'd really like to do yoga teacher training and I'd like to sort of put all that together and try and bring those things to people who've maybe felt excluded from them in the past. Most likely, hopefully, if there's any even desire for it, working with neurodivergent people, people, I mean, I, you know, I know myself, I've had unfortunately negative experiences with massages in the past because my sensory issues can cause me to have strange reactions. And unfortunately, not everyone has the patience and compassion to be understanding about that in the moment and that has caused me quite a lot of distress regarding massages and it was kind of one of the reasons I wanted to study massage in the first place was to try and bring it to people who maybe had similar experiences. Uh, same with you know things like not, not necessarily meditation but ideas around meditating and mindfulness and not thought control <laughs> but um, le learning to control your thoughts to some extent rather than letting your thoughts control you. That's a big part of what meditating is all about. But the sort of traditional style of meditating, sitting, focusing on your breath in with your eyes closed in silence can be very distressing for a lot of people. And so I would like to work with people to accomplish that goal in different ways, ways that work for them. Same with, you know, maybe making meditations more appealing to folks, folk through their their hyperfixations and special interests. I made myself a, a starship meditation. It's just a couple of minutes long. You can check it out on my YouTube. The sound quality is not very good, sorry. I am planning to re-record it at some point. I'm very pleased with it. I really love it. It makes me really happy and I find it really relaxing, even though it's my own voice, which is not something I've historically loved. Uh, and yeah, I, uh, a friend of mine at college really was into theatre and musicals. And so I wrote her a uh, meditation that was, you know, you're sitting in an auditorium waiting for a show to begin. And she really liked it. And that's the kind of thing I mean, is trying to bring things to people through, you know, through what matters to them. And again, Hopefully the same with the yoga. I know some people who have been made to feel very uncomfortable in yoga classes because of uh, issues like dyspraxia, where, you know, somebody might struggle with right and left. And so someone just shouting out instructions with no sort of, no alternative ways of presenting the information has left some people feeling quite excluded from it. And, you know, these all of these wellness therapies and well-being practices they should ideally be available to anyone who wants them 
and you know I don't necessarily think I'm some you know saviour from on high or anything but if there are people out there who would like me to help them access these kind of things that's what I want to do for people I find I have found a lot of these things very helpful but not always the way that they're presented and I'd like to offer an alternative to people I guess so those are my kind of main big goals I also have a bunch of you know my usual ongoing well-being that I'm working on fitness and nutrition and mindfulness and self-awareness unmasking I definitely want to read more this year I want to dance more and listen to more music I want to want my dog's new places and just generally have a lot more fun than I have for the last few years and I think pretty much all of that is fairly achievable hopefully barring anything you know too distressing going wrong and I'm really actually pretty excited about this year and the things I've got in mind maybe that kind of you know the, this new year's energy will fade and come mid-january i'll probably be feeling pretty low and a bit less energized but for now i'm feeling pretty excited about it all and um yeah i'm probably going to share quite a lot of all of that journey through here so stick around if you're vaguely interested if not you know no hard feelings take care <laughs> uh but yeah till tomorrow live long and prosper bye